Broadcasting Network dedicated to ending the global war on drugs on iHeartRadio. The next guest is Dr. Dennis Petro, medical doctor. Dr. Petro has uh, been on the board of directors of Patients at a Time since our inception back in 1995. He is a neurologist uh, with some 30 years experience in adult neurology and pharmaceutical research as well. That research has been done uh, with uh, industry, with regulatory bodies, and he has great expertise in drug safety. He's worked all over the place, U.S., Canada, the United Kingdom, and uh, right now he's talking to us from uh, eastern Pennsylvania. Hello, Dr. Petro. Are you out there, sir? Hello, this is okay. Petro. Please, uh, please let us know your background, the, the, the folks about your, your background, and if you could go back in time and talk about your early clinical findings, especially with MS, and, and we'll go on from there if you could. Sure. I actually go back to another era in time, and that is the 1960s. So when I started in medical school at Baylor University in Houston, Texas, in an MD-PhD program, I was involved in measuring cardiac output in patients at uh, several of the Houston institutions, including the Texas Institute for Rehabilitation and the Houston VA. And uh, in measuring cardiac output, I was astounded to see that actually a range of patients were using marijuana clinically. Uh, Actually, my first patient was a very spastic teenage boy at the Texas Institute for Rehabilitation whose mother would bring in these cookies containing cannabis, and that was the only way I could get good, good cardiac output measurements after she gave her son some marijuana. And this is actually the same hospital where Gabby Gifford got her rehab after her brain injury. But this experience was reinforced in the 70s when I saw a number of patients, uh, one patient especially who uh, who had leukemia and was using cannabis to take chemotherapy. And she became the first recognized adult with acute myelomonocytic leukemia to ever have a successful remission from her uh, leukemia. Uh, Another case was a young, uh, late 20s vintage MS patient who actually smoked marijuana in the clinic, and uh, his spasticity literally melted away. So I applied to the FDA to do a clinical trial, and after about four years of back and forth, was able to do the first American double-blind placebo-controlled trial that demonstrated that cannabis was an effective therapy for muscle spasms in MS patients. And obviously, this study was uh, repeated by researchers in the UK, in Canada, in Germany, and to this day now, it is generally recognized that major applications for marijuana is in treating spastic MS patients. But this was sort of a sidelight to my more significant work uh, involving drug development in terms of drugs used in neurology and psychiatry over these years. And in the last perhaps 15 years, I've done much uh, work in terms of investigating the safety of drugs, obviously not only cannabis, but drugs used in neurology, 
such as the antidepressants, antipsychotics, and the, the therapeutic drugs in general. So that's my background, and uh, I guess that's a good starting point for questions. for Hemp Global Broadcasting Network. Please share us. 